Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I'll pretend to be nicer. You don't have to. The time has finally come. For the longest time, I've avoided talking about this. I ditch Cinematic Venom when they try to interview me. I need to finally just address this change the channel situation. I've, I've learnt the error of my ways and I'm here to finally issue a public apology. Oh, thank God! Everyone gather round! They finally learned! Well, it's about damn time! Better late than never, I suppose. Oh, I can't wait to hear this! Oh, mate, this is gonna be good! I'm sorry that you all thought that we were assholes. Wait, what? You tied a woman upside down until she passed out. For a movie! And I regret that you feel like that was wrong. Instead of getting her medical attention, your solution was to just give her Gatorade. And I regret that you feel that was the wrong thing to do. You put two dozen people in a hot attic filming a damn near four hour movie, sometimes doing 18 hour shoots with no air conditioning and no water. And I regret that you feel like that was unfair. You allowed your female producers to be sexually harassed. And one male. And I regret- You made Mike J make an entire movie with his own money. Then didn't even pay him for it. And then get all the profits for yourself, bruv. And I regret- You're a proper batty boy. You refuse to let someone honor your good friend who passed away because it wouldn't get many views. I just- A woman you admitted saved your entire feature films and worked almost every day of the year and you still fired her. A day after surgery! Dumbass! Oh, that reminds me. You know you said you're open to ideas to, like, improve the site? Yeah. Well, basically, I've put together a very detailed list of suggestions that, that will help improve the site. And I know, since I've been here ten years, you're obviously going to take all of them into consideration. Here you go. Oh, wow, man. Thanks. Hey, Doug, please may one have a glass of water. No, but I can. Mmm, <laughs> You want some water? You're not getting it! You want some of this? You want some of this? You're never going He's lost his mind. You're a monster! Right, that's it. <laughs> what the? You just shot a man! Well, I regret that you feel that way. There's nothing to feel! You just shot a man! Right in front of all of us! There's now evidence against you that you can't deny! I regret that you feel that way. Oh, and for the record, none of you are allowed to post on the website ever again. All right. Because you have previously used the word faggot or gay, not even in a homophobic or offensive way, but it's just too far. That's crossing the line. There's certain things you can't say, and you are not allowed to say either of those. Didn't you make fun of mental retardations? No. I'd say it's like Power Rangers for younger kids, but it's more like Power Rangers for retarded kids. And you made fun of autistic children. And then deleted the evidence! <laughs> yes, I think he entertains the autistic children. Well... In fact, didn't you also say the N-word? Okay, now that is ridiculous. What's up, my niggas? It wasn't offensive! Well, neither was ours! I regret that you feel that way. Hey, Doug, uh, we just got through reading the script of, of that scene that you wanted us to do. We're not entirely sure that we're actually comfortable doing it. What? Why? We just think that's a bit too extreme and over the top. And I know that since we're good friends, you're not going to be forcing just us. Just do it! Now there's only one thing left to do. Review a movie that came out this year, which makes no sense and goes completely against my entire character. I want to review whatever I want, whenever I want. But you're the nostalgia critic. It's in your name. I won't review anything currently in theaters. Wait, who played that? Hey, um, Doug? Rob here, I'm a big fan of your work. I started watching you when I was 17 actually and I first saw the Save by the Bell review and I was just hooked. Uh, you know, I'm not like other people who are now backtracking saying, oh no, he's got no talent and his content sucks because I do think it is well put together. I just think you're an asshole. But you remember when you started and you were really humble and you wanted to just get your stuff heard? You know, you had a bad camera, you still live with your parents, but then it took off. Remember that? Remember that? And we're, and we're the reason that you were able to to make these movies and you were able to move out and you got your own, you know, your nice big house. 
and now you're now your own studio. That was us who did that. And I know you appreciate it. You're a very humble guy, aren't you, Doug? So I just figured you should you should pay us back. It's the least you could do. So how about a crossover? Cinematic Venom and the Nostalgia Critic. Do you have 90 grand? No, why? Then piss off! Right, there's only one thing left to do. I'm gonna retire this character right now without telling anybody, jeopardizing their entire career. I'm gonna do an awful spin-off show that nobody gives a flying shit about, just so I can then come back and do this whole episode where I literally tell myself how amazing I am. Pure genius. Pe people still support this shit? Hey, um, Doug, I just wanted to let you know that me and uh, about 78 other people are leaving the website because you're a complete scumbag and you defend a much bigger scumbag and you're also related to a scumbag. Um, and, and here's a load of evidence uh, proving that basically you're a scumbag. I regret that you feel that way. And now is the time for the charity shout out. That sounds completely forced and fake, but I need to do it to make me look like a good person. Today's charity is an anti-bullying campaign, which I'm very much for. No one should have to go through the, the torture and the hardships and pain of bullying. I'm here to put an end to it. And I hope you can all support me in this great cause. Hey, I'm okay. What's with all the mid-rolls in your videos? Ah! He's a scumbag.